Good morning, YouTube. This is Rick Black Rifle from North Augusta, South Carolina. Coming at you today with a new rifle that I have uh, for my job in uh, nuisance wildlife control, mainly for hunting hogs. Anyway, this is it. The Bear Creek side charging. That's right, side charging. Three fifty legend. It's a thirty five caliber uh, rifle. It propels a hundred and eighty grain, hundred and seventy grain, and hundred and fifty grain bullet anywhere between twenty three and twenty two hundred feet per second. So it, it really hits hard. It reaches out, it's very flat shooting. Um, out to about 200 yards is very extremely accurate so that uh, when you hit one of them hogs it, it, it goes down it goes down for good anyway uh, this is it it's a 350 legend I have a a2 uh, lower receiver this is by Palmetto State Armory but uh, I'm going to purchase a Palmetto State Armory uh, special edition lower receiver it's a hog hunter edition it has a picture of a, a hog skull on the uh, receiver so I will I will build that lower receiver and put a A2 stock and buffer assembly on it I really like the A2 stock. This is off my uh, Overwatch rifle. I have a 24 inch uh, 223 Overwatch. And um, I have the Hogue pistol grip here. I find this to be a very comfortable grip. Um, it's a rubber grip by Hogue. Anyway, I've topped the rifle off with a sight mark. Wraith HD. Um, it'll be on here until uh, I get the uh, thermal uh, pulsar thermal. Uh, I think it's the XQ35 uh, thermal that I'm gonna put on top of this uh, rifle, and uh, it should be really good for hunting. Anyway, I'm going to give my triad some coyotes. But this is also a good deer caliber. And what I like about the 350 Legend is um, it, it, it could be had in the AR-15 or bolt rifle. But it's really best in an AR-15 semi-automatic because you get that follow-up shot. Uh, multiple targets so um, it makes good for that especially at night uh, on the hogs um, other than that it's like I said it's spitting out a bullet at uh, anywhere between 22 and 2300 feet per second and to anywhere from 150 grain to 180 grain. They do make subsonics, but I'm not going to hunt, hunt subsonics. I, I don't have a suppressed weapon, so I'm not going to hunt uh, anything that's subsonic. So there, therefore, uh, if I had a suppressor, then I might would use uh, 220 grain subsonic ammo but I'm not, I don't have a suppressor, so, and I'm not going to buy one either. I'm not going to go through that ATF BS to get one. Uh, I have a friend that ordered, has paid for his, and it's been over a year, and he hasn't received it yet, so I'm not going to go through that. It's a bunch of BS. It's an infringement upon the Second Amendment, as far as I'm concerned. You know, it, uh, it's just... 
depends on who's in office you know you got the to ban coalition that just wants to ban everything but anyway uh, this is it and this will be um, what I'm hunting with I have the 300 block out in the same c configuration except it has a 16 inch barrel it's short barrel um, I think that's the longest barrel Bear Creek makes for the 300 block out I don't think they make an 18 inch but this is a 20 inch barrel and they're very accurate I have a friend Mark has purchased one of these and he has it shooting real tight groups at 50 yards so therefore um, anyway uh, he's got it Ward's really shooting it's shooting real good he casts his own lead bullet so I think he's got a 200 grain bullet up around 2200 feet per second so that's pretty good for a 200 grainer but anyway um, uh, that is better than good <laughs> Anyway, um, we're still at it, we're still doing the nuisance wildlife. And hopefully, uh, we'll get some more pigs. Uh, pigs have seemed to disappear uh, when the cold weather started and the drought. So uh, I'm not sure where they're at, but they do this all the time. Disappear for a while, and then they come back. It seems like when they come back, there's more of them. Uh, last pictures I have of hogs are around the 11th of November so since the 11th um, there hasn't been any any photos of hogs at the uh, feeders just deer and we don't hunt deer um, we will if uh, we're called in for nuisance wildlife control and we get a depredation permit and take deer uh, at night uh, to protect crops so we'll do that but uh, other than uh, to just go deer hunting um, I really don't do too much sport hunting uh, so mainly it's hogs or other varmints uh, other other critters, coyotes and raccoons and possums and stuff like that. So we'll go get those out of people's yard. Rabid foxes. Um, there's a high incidence of rabies here in South Carolina with foxes and and raccoons. So um, if you see a raccoon during the day, give me a call. I'll come get them, but I do charge a fee to do that. Anyway, this is Rick Black Rifle from North Augusta coming at you with the Bear Creek Arsenal. 350 Legend. We'll see how it does, how it performs. I'll put some video of the uh, night vision on the uh, website when when I get, get some video. And... Um, you know, I have that Sight Mark Mini too. Those Sight Marks are really good night vision scopes. That HD uh, can't beat it for the money. Uh, and then you have the Mini Max and the Mini and uh, the Wraith Mini and the Wraith M Max 4K. Uh, the video is uh, superb on those. The clarity of the uh, the optic is great at night. This is Rick, Black Rifle from North Augusta. Having a cup of coffee here. 
black rifle coffee. <laughs> Take care. This is bye bye. From North Augusta, South Carolina. <laughs>